my CSUMB community. I hope that each of you is taking care and finding healthy ways to thrive during our pandemic experience. This little video is an effort of staff and faculty at CSUMB to keep our community engaged and plugged in by remembering some important issues that have been sidelined by the pandemic news coverage. I'm sure your television and phone screens are saturated with news about COVID-19, and you may even find yourself wanting to unplug from it all because it's overwhelming. But there are some important non-COVID current events that are taking place that are going to matter deeply to us. And we hope this short video puts one of them back on your radar. Have you been wondering about what is going to happen to the 2020 election during this strange and disruptive time? What election issues are you and your family concerned about? We look forward to hearing your thoughts on our discussion forum. Interestingly, even though this pandemic feels so unprecedented to us, we've actually been here before. In 1918, the world was gripped by a flu pandemic that is estimated to have killed about 50 million people worldwide. The flu attack peaked in the United States in October and November, right before the national midterm elections were about to take place. On the left, you see a newspaper clipping from that era urging the people of Pacific Grove, California to go to the polls wearing masks. On the right, you see a US postal worker wearing a mask. When we see these pictures, it just reminds us that history has a strange way of repeating itself. And even today, we are thankful for our essential workers who are out there risking their own safety to continue their work and make our communities run. So how will this pandemic affect our elections this year? We have one example with the Wisconsin primaries, which just took place this week. Wisconsin's Democratic governor, Tony Evers, made a last minute plea for the elections in his state to be delayed because of the pandemic. But his plea was overruled by Wisconsin's Republican majority Supreme Court. The court also denied the request to extend the deadline for mail-in ballots in order to accommodate those who decided not to vote in person because of the pandemic. So you can see that one of the issues that might crop up in this election is how voter turnout might be affected by the pandemic. What you see here, however, on election day in Wisconsin is a long line of those who turned out risking their safety to vote nonetheless. 1.55 million people voted, which was a pretty high voter turnout. And interestingly, out of those, 1.1 million of them were actually mail-in votes. And that was a record number. So people um, decided to make sure that their voice counted uh, despite the chaos of this time. Unfortunately, the political stage in our country is so highly partisan and polarizing that many of us may feel upset by or even turned off by the Democrat versus Republican rhetoric. However, beyond partisanship is the power of every vote to represent a voice. In 2000, Republican candidate who turned out to be our president, George W. Bush, won the state of Florida against his competitor, Al Gore, by a mere 537 votes. Your vote can really matter. So please do join our forum to let us know what's on your mind about the election and the way that it may be impacted by the, by the pandemic for you and your family. In terms of things that you can do, try to stay abreast of election news, both national and local, and encourage your friends and family to do the same. Become aware of how voting processes might be modified in your voting state uh, during this pandemic time. And finally, you can call your state uh, senators and representatives to ask that the voting processes, however they might be modified at this time, are fair so that all who want to vote can vote safely. On this slide, uh, the last link will take you to a page where um, if you vote in California, you will find who your senators and representatives are. So once again, we hope that you will keep election 2020 on your radar and that you will join our discussion forum to let us know what you are thinking about.